it got to a point where I was no longer making the Let's Plays for me. I didn't really enjoy them at all for the last year. Um, and I was making them for other people. Hot me! Fuck me! Hey, ladies. I don't know why I just manspread all over this chair. I'm sorry you had to see that, Kim. Don't be don't fucking be rude! This video could literally be boiled down to the fact that I have commitment issues. But not in relationships, I love my boyfriend very much. This is what it's like to date me. Hot me! Oh, Steph, we got it. You have a boyfriend. Aww. Tell us who he is! Uh, yeah, he'll actually be in the video after the intro, so make sure to stay tuned! <laughs> Steph-O does a video on Sunday as well. Uh huh. It's just me. It's me, Jesse Ari. Hey, sis. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> so today I'm going to be showing you something that I have been hiding for a long time. It's this corner of my room. Whoa. So I like to think of my room in three predominant, prominent, predominant. Hot me. Firstly, we have my girly gamer station. This is where I make my countless videos every day. The grind never stops. It's every day. Ho. And where you're situated right now is in Hot my me. bed. Now, this is where I like to sleep peacefully at night, completely naked. Not because I'm a fop, but because it's hot. And this... I'm so sorry. This is my son. He's very hydrated. He's a bit of a H2 ho. <laughs> He's a little bit fake, but I'm thinking he might grow up to be a YouTuber. And over here we have my countless Kylie lip kit. Literally none of those are Kylie. So anyway, today we're going to be having a bit of a sentimental life update chit chat. So yeah, life update. I'm depressed. Wow, sis, we be new. Watch out, Markiplier and Dodie. There's a new crying youtuber in town but what if markiplier and dodie are ultimately more happy because they let their emotions out rather than letting them boil up after being suppressed for so many years okay moving on so in case you are unaware it may be difficult to tell if you have joined us in the past few months who is us is that just me and my five different personalities <laughs> i am in fact a sim tuber Ew. More like a sim puba because I'm the pube on the face of the sims community. And I've been in the sims community for a long time so I think I have a pretty good idea of the general unspoken rules of the community which I like to think of in a triangle. Hot me. At the base of the triangle and of course the most essential part of being a sims channel is Having Sims in your username. <laughs> we have X Urban Sims, Lil Simsy, The Sim Supply, Fancy Simmer. She changed her name to Vixella, but bitch, I know who the fuck you are. Hot me. This is of course the core of being a Sims channel. It's Let's Play. And these have to have creative ass names because if you are doing Sims for cats and dogs. Part 97 Puppy Play Date, then you're a basic ass hoe and it's your time to go. Hot me! And number three, my favorite house builds, creator sims. Bitch, nobody fucking cares about any of that stuff. We're just here for the let's plays. <laughs> so the other day I took a look at my channel and really considered whether this theory actually applied to all sims channels. What if we take the triangle, flip it over, then the triangle just falls over you. But things. I actually discovered YouTube through Sims Let's Plays and when I found them, I freaked the fuck out because finally there was someone that liked the same game as me. Wow, no way. Someone else plays one of the best selling games of all time. Now, when I first started watching Sims Channel, Singular Sim Channel, oh my god, okay, I'll go. <laughs> there was a very clear pattern between all the Let's Players. You had to be a Caucasian American girl, and as you can see, I am a 
young black boy. <laughs> Times were tough. I probably spent a year talking in an American accent. I literally thought that my real self wasn't good enough for YouTube. <laughs> Little did I know that someday YouTube would actually allow trash people to have millions of subscribers. <laughs> to this day, I still have low self-esteem, low stamina, and a low IQ, but I accept that about myself. Eventually, after years of not speaking in videos, I got the confidence to finally share my fake American voice with the world. And I was obsessed. I think this was the only time that I was actually a daily uploader. <laughs> as I've grown as a person, mostly internally, I have still yet to grow breasticles. We may be getting seasons in The Sims, but Mother Nature has still yet to visit me. So I was standing there. Barbecue sauce on my pudding. <laughs> I eventually grew to a double D, just kidding, despise every single one of these videos, which is why every single one of those videos is more private than my personal life now. <laughs> if YouTube didn't demonetize me, I would free the nipple every single day. I have nothing to hide. Except for those videos, I want them hidden forever. As well as the self-hatred I was feeling, I also realized that I had the attention span of a foot. I have ADD. For some reason I've always just found it more rewarding to do short little things. Hunt me. And constantly be trying new things rather than continuously working to one long goal that just never ends. Definitely more of a sprinter than a long distance runner. Did I just make a sport analogy? To this day, I still have no idea how anyone has ever finished the 100 baby challenge. Imagine how many legs were spread so wide and how many sim vaginas now droop to the ground. Hunt me, fuck me, daddy better make me show you better. So I'm canceling all my let's plays. <laughs> Don't be fucking rude. <laughs> So today we find closure. Today we end it all. Don't call the police, I'm fine. <laughs> we close the metaphorical legs of the Fotty who just wanted to pop out 100 babies. Just throwing it back to earlier in the video where I said, finished a YouTube video. I literally never said that. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Apparently that also applies to my own videos. I literally just got up, left, and hello. Here we are, it's a new day. It's a new start for me. <laughs> Every day is a new day. I'm really just realizing things. America is good because America is great. You know what I mean? Every day is a new day. <laughs> so we back in this bitch finna get crunk. I don't like how this is here because it makes it look like I've been sleeping on getting expansion packs, but not trying to flex, but what the fuck is that? And also on the topic of not finishing things, here I am, yellow nail polish, feeling funky, feeling fresh as a lemon. Stop quaking, Dodi. This hand's harder to do. And now it's been six hours and I still haven't done it, so uh. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to City Living Let's Pla. Nice one. This is actually literally part three of City Dying. Ooh, good one. I mean, we could be feminist icons and just play with them, but uh, Bryce is a spice. Apparently he's been getting pussy. That would be a first. <laughs> you know what? Let's just take the cat too. We've just catnapped. Good one. I am a dad. Items removed. Oh, I hope they're all naked. I mean, I'm not sex. What is going on here? <laughs> I mean, what I meant to say was gender neutral bathrooms. Shit in front of me. Great. Okay, so we're back with our quirky group of young adults. Uh, headband patrol is in full force. Blair Waldorf's wet dream. This is me on Twitter giving everyone the side eye. <gasps> I forgot we had a squad of frogs. I forgot what they were called. I think this is pet Pepe and Poot because we love fresh memes in 2018. And here Bryce is eating my booty. Congratulations on getting that promotion at work. You deserve it. 
Uh, mom, we quit. Mom, I'm just trying to live a new spiritual free life. I don't wear clothes anymore apparently because I just want to free the nipples on behalf of women everywhere. And I have birds because symbolism, right? I don't actually remember how to do Let's Plays anymore. I don't remember what exactly I talked about. So here is my sim shitting, taking a large load in the toilet. And here is the load. It's sponsored by the Illuminati. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Work for Bridget. We can work from home. Oh, oh, wow. An unprovoked hug. <laughs> so as you can see, we've really progressed since the first part of this Let's Play. We got a new sofa. Run. Where are you running to? Oh! <gasps> Are you pregnant? Are you pregante? What just happened? Uh, should we go out? No. <laughs> We're in New York. Uh, now we've got a cat, but I feel like we should also just adopt. Oh, uh, adopt a baby? No. <coughs> Come on, let's go get a floofer. Yes, puppers all round, pappy. <laughs> uh, booger, booger. Why would you do that? <laughs> I mean, I'd sniff him right up, so it's probably appropriate. A pit bull. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> it's a girl. Mrs. Worldwide. <laughs> Wait, what are you? A puggle. Oh, that reminds me of Puffles from Club Penguin. <laughs> Big rip. Don't you dare touch my dog. Oh yeah, fuck you. Oh <laughs> shit, what is that? Fuck me up. Who are you fighting? Adopt. Adopt. Don't shop Fotties. Big responsibility. I mean, from this video, you, we, we can tell that I love a big responsibility. Uh, did that say nugget? Wait, what is wrong with its fish? <laughs> what is that? Fish. I mean, I don't actually know if it's a girl or a boy. It could be serving fish. Not really too sure. <laughs> I don't like any of these. Did that say Apollo? I'm not Logan Paul. I have it. Hot me. Are you ever not naked because i'm strangely not against it at that point is being attracted to a simulation worrying because that could mean that people around me that i have found attractive in the past could be a simulation and yep i'm gonna surrender myself to elon musk right now <laughs> what do you want did i buy it oh i didn't get a pet bowl i mean it's okay we wanted our pets to be just as skinny as us she just became friends with cupcake oh that dog's gonna be humping about i know it for sure Hunt me. uh staying hydrated she's a h2ho i think she's going on a juice cleanse before coachella bryce we get it you have a peeny weenie could you please put your nip knobs away <laughs> i'm gonna miss this flat though it looks like it came out of pinterest and i spend 90 percent of my life on there i think i have a board for Health. As you can see, I am the personification of health embodied. <laughs> Two bros chilling on a sofa, five feet apart, cause maybe they're gay, who knows? Uh, and apparently he has decided to stare at a brick wall with his free will, so truly his mind, it's so powerful. <laughs> oh, she's updating her Simstagram. She is a Simstagram searcher. I think that just means that she scrolls through Instagram and seems to think that that is a career. <sighs> Clearly no clout. She only has 200 followers. Shake my head. What is she thinking? Oh wait, she's a gamer girl. Gamer girl. Gamer guru. Okay, I'll forgive you. She's gone for a niche market. She'll eventually come through. What the fuck is going on? Oh my God. Oh my God. When you're so skinny, you're just transparent. What the fuck is that? Ew, gross. Do you have worms? <laughs> did you just skirt in closer to me? What the? I did not give you permission to approach me like that. Your bitch. Mm. This makes me want to have more coffee so that I can go sit on the toilet for a bit. <laughs> I'm bored. Let's fuck some shit up. Am I right, peeps? I didn't come here to play. I mean, I did. I'm playing the si Uh, I've definitely considered entering. Endering? Endering? Am I a Minecraft YouTuber? Hey guys, welcome to my Minecraft channel. Today we're gonna kill some Endering mans. Definitely considered ending Let's Plays after my favorite sim had died because I hate everyone else. So let's kill some sims by death. How else are you gonna kill a sim? By life? <laughs> she just lived so hard that she actually died. <laughs>
I feel like Bridget deserves the best. Death by laughter. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, she fucking did. Miss Keisha! I should probably put these two out of their misery as well. I don't like seeing them in such a state. Let me help a sis out. When your mum asks if your friend jumped off a cliff, would you too? I mean. And finally, Bryce, we know you have lice. <laughs> and you know what you do when you have lice? You drown yourself in water. Some people give life advice on YouTube. Lice advice. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Yep, wish death approached that quickly and simply in real life. Oh, hey, here I come floating in to fuck your bitch. Coachella was lit this year. We like totally almost story time. Bridget's boss was disappointed with the work she did today. Zero dollars. <laughs> Are you going to work? The grind never stops even if you die. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. Had a really, you know, it was a dramatic last part. Luckily, only the animals survived. That kind of sounds like the dream. <laughs> Mm. Okay, uh, so I was gonna end that video there and it felt liberating and uplifting to just murder them to the ground, uh, fuck it all, I don't care, uh, what, did I just do, okay. <laughs> and as much as joking about it and just being like, fuck it, let's get rid of it, felt good and true to me, I don't know if that was fair and genuine to all of you who are invested in these let's plays because I do realize that um, it got to a point where I was no longer making the let's plays for me. I didn't really enjoy them at all for the last year um, and I was making them for other people so clearly someone was watching for me to keep going for a year <laughs> and that's something that I should have really thought about more before uh, filming this. And I know that Let's Plays to a lot of people are an escapism. You can watch someone else enjoy playing a video game and also live through the family. Sure. <laughs> Which is exactly how I fell into YouTube and I don't know why this didn't occur to me earlier because I was the person that was watching Let's Plays. I was bullied at school. Literally came home crying because someone edited my face into someone on a wheelchair once and then I was like mom dad I want to be homeschooled at the time I didn't have the opportunity to do that because not everyone can just drop out of school uh you know not a youtuber dropout I actually did complete most of my education before doing this <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of school I think we know this I've been called out for this before because I have said don't go to school if you don't want to uh there are other ways to get an education Believe it or not, I am a huge advocate for education. Uh, fuck it, get your education, uglies. Don't listen to the Jake Pauls of the world who are like, drop out, become a YouTuber and get a Lambo because, uh, you know, high, high ambitions are good, but realistic <laughs> expectations should also go hand in hand with that. You know, get an education for yourself if that's what you want to do. Or don't, find other ways to um, hire your learning, whatever. I don't know how we got to this. <laughs> but I now realise that with this channel, it's something that I am in complete control of, which is a complete privilege and something that most people do not have the opportunity to do. And being able to say, fuck it, I this isn't making me happy, I'm gonna leave it, is just a blessing to this earth. I don't know, being able to pinpoint one of the things that is making me unhappy and get rid of it is a huge privilege that I'm aware of, uh, at least now, not the beginning of this video maybe. <laughs> and it's something that I needed to do for me because I'm not always the happiest person in the world. Shock. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell from the hundreds of comments every day saying, is she okay? Uh, spoiler alert, not all the time. And I know this isn't gonna cure me um, fully aware of that but if there's something making you unhappy and you're able to get rid of it then why not so yeah just wanted to come back and say thank you for being very patient with me over the last six months since there's been no sick we back <laughs> my camera just fully died uh me no probably shouldn't joke about that in a serious matter. In spite of anything I've gone through, throughout that YouTube has always been a major source of happiness for me and I think it is probably making this channel was the best decision I could have ever made. So it scared me that 
I was not enjoying part of it and that maybe that would come over into the whole channel instead of just let's plays so I don't know if that will happen maybe next week I'll be like peace <laughs> but every other video that I've been making I have been thoroughly enjoying <laughs> and I just want to continue to do more of uh whatever the fuck it is I am currently doing who knows <laughs> I just feel like my channel's had a bit of a rebirth, a revival by Selena Gomez. <laughs> and I really appreciate that almost all of you have been very patient and supportive of the changes that have been happening. So I just wanted to come here, be sincere, not be a sinner for five minutes of my life. <laughs> uh, don't worry, Stefo Sin will be back next week, but for now, it's Stefo sincere <laughs> i'm in a good place right now i feel happy which i don't know maybe a month ago i wouldn't have said so i don't know i just found a purpose and something to work towards with youtube which is not something that a lot of 18 year olds find because i don't know i imagine most people in my situation feel lost and not know what to do with their life this might not be my whole life but for now this is something i want to work towards and i want to make sure that i am not doing something that is making me unhappy anyway this whole angle this whole section of the video looks very emo so uh i'm gonna go cut some side fringes into my head some side fringes not just one multiple <laughs> i'm gonna look like a fucking staircase the sims is quaking with that one staircase direction i'm going in all the directions better watch out one direction <laughs> Do I just call out three people at once? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, life advice. Uh, do what you think is best for you while considering how other people may feel. So yes, I think that was good advice. If it wasn't, drag me. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been cancelled on Twitter yet, so uh, kind of looking forward to that. Let me know if that happens after this video. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, next week I'm going to be at EA Play playing The Sims 4 Seasons exclusive. <clears throat> so... Peace. What? <laughs> That's never been my outro. Uh, yeah, remember to unsubscribe, especially today if you're feeling upset because, you know, it's a, you're making your own choices that's best for you. Okay. Uh, yeah. How the fuck do you end a video? What?